you know, you, you're betting on the future, and if you know what the future is like, just like the Vegas people, they know in the Mandalay Bay, the owner of the Mandalay Bay, uh, James Muir, and uh, anyway, don't want to beat on that dead horse, and you know what you did. Uh, so 80 some percent of all the uh, uh, Mendeley Bay stock and oh coincidentally they're also the founder of this uh, Society of this enlightenment. I didn't even I was think of so nice things uh, open society by George Soros uh, uh, the so-called the uh, uh, Transformation of the enlightened society, which is that it's devilish I mean seriously because there's pyramid and uh, the eye to the sky Okay, so we don't want to give glory to the devil. We know that the devil uh, tempted Jesus because he owned the world. So don't blame it on God. The devil, we sold it out. Adam and Eve sold uh, the birthrights to the devil. And the redemption came to the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ. But you can always say no, because God does not twist your arm to his mind, because that would feel good, uh, and uh, uh, make you go to heaven. That's why he gave you um, something so powerful. It's called free will. Free, F-R-E-E-W-I-L-L, -L, that you have the same exact amount of will uh, as God, who created heaven and earth, when it, is, it would be so easy just make us bow down worship like machines, like, oh, we worship you, and we speak, we speak in your language. That was easy, actually, for me to perceive to accept that uh, I think being a woman uh, was one thing that uh, that you know I'm not so like ooh I gotta be manly I cannot be speaking in a different tongue people think I'm crazy uh, but if for the simple fact that uh, see I spoke Chinese and it sounds like gibberish to you, but another Chinese person can understand perfectly. So why could not I have the, uh, you know, just not the perception, um, the uh, the understanding that God can give us the language that, which is so great because you know I would say my brain is like a tiny little pea, not even a pea. I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, pea like uh, in the pot. <laughs> you see. Uh, so my brain is so tiny and his wisdom is uh, beyond understanding uh, I always remember that your mind is futile your mind is a what a war enmity the word is enmity so if you don't know what enmity means look it up it's animosity with God because your mind, I was like that. I was like, no way, this is the stupidest story that you can believe me in the freaking main drawer where it's really stinky, meh, uh, because there's no room in the hotel and then the guy has to sleep in the garage and uh, uh, this is a virgin birth. This is just uh, a, a really a fairy tale. Virgin birth and Mary, uh, even this uh, <laughs> saddlebag pastor, he even said it, I don't know, <laughs> I kind of got sidetracked. I really wanted to do this exercise. Okay, so uh, let me let me stop after I, I tell you what the Saddlebag, um, Rick, Rick Warren. Uh, so I admit it, uh, I did not make it to church on the way Sunday uh, because I think that, um, I don't know what it is, EMF or something, I just, I hate to admit that I could not get out of the bed. Okay, so somebody prayed for me. I actually prayed with the people in church the other day also. Uh, I said I could not get out of bed. I don't know what it is, uh, if it's uh, interference or uh, their subtlety, attack of the adversary try to hinder me from sleeping. I mean, I, sometimes I can just like get up, but sometimes you just like, oh, I, oh, I can't even move this tall. Um, but, uh, okay, so what he's saying, what was the uh, uh, Rick was saying? Uh, he was saying about the um, oh the the uh, what do you call the uh, fairy tale? The fairy tale when I say the give the virgin give birth. Uh, he said that you just pretend that if you're engaged and your girlfriend said, "Hey Johnny, whatever your name is, right? Uh, guess what? Uh, I just I miss I'm missing my period and I just had this." Uh, um, 
you know, the tester thing I bought at Kmart and it came back positive, so I'm pregnant. Uh, basically in a nutshell. Oh, sure. Oh, you've been screwing around. No, 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 I haven't been. Um, I promise I haven't been. So this is unexplainable. Uh, I believe, I, I saw a vision. Also, the angel came and told me that is from God, the creator. Uh, yeah, sure, you'll buy into that. You'll be like, ah, fuck off, you liar. Because in those days, they're very strict, right? So basically, you know, you're like messing around behind my back, and I know it. And then you try to give me this line. I would never buy, it, buy into it. I go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna believe you. Sure, God impregnated you. Uh, there, like, where's the sperm? There's no sperm, and and uh, you did not fool around because you're a virgin. And uh, all of a sudden, boom! There's this uh, Jesus, the baby. Uh, it's it's just crazy how Joseph, uh, in fact, believed. Uh, well, I have to say because God sent him an angel and said, don't be afraid, because he couldn't sleep. Okay, so that's not a reason why I couldn't sleep. Anyways, I found out, uh, I'm gonna stop right here for a sec. Okay, that truck just went by, oh my God. <laughs> I went on too long. So I found out why I have this cork. I know it's, it looks kind of kinky, but I'm not weird. No, I'm not gonna like, you know, shove this into any uh, orifices or whatever. It won't fit my nose. Um, no, I seriously found out, I think maybe I, I was just too tense, and I did not believe it. Uh, when I went to, I don't know if you remember, I did a video, I said I wanted to see what's happening, why are these uh, two, two, three, four, I know they're numbers, six. Uh, they were so loose, and even the dentist, so loose, meaning that they were going, wow. And they call it mobility, I don't like it. I mean, I like mobility, otherwise my mobility in the teeth my god i want my teeth to have zero mobility to be staying firm and rooted uh grounded uh anyway so my criticism of the so-called uh titanium implants uh seriously uh i think it's a, a hoax a way to make money uh because i'm not the only one who said that like oh your gum it's not suitable for it. Some people's gum love it. I heard that, but I've seen many, many postings, if you didn't see that, about uh, its real self. Like people are so uh, in despair because somehow the implant, once it's in there, it caused, I believe it caused that because I, I have exactly the same situation. All your gum to boom, recede abnormally. So it's like this. It's almost like, I hate to say like the, Eiffel Tower. So if your gum line is like this, right? Boom, there's a teeth, and then there's implant, it goes, whoa! Like the gum is like, whoa! I gotta escape, and they can't escape, so they're like right there. Uh, thank God I can't really see it that well. <laughs> well, why do I wanna be ugly? Why do I wanna show you that I, uh, you know, I got problems? Why, why, why? <laughs> Except for I'm just trying to help. Uh, I'm trying to help because now I realize that why it's loose. Another thing was because I have this grinding problem. I deny it when the lady first told me that I went to see the seek out the superior laser, but it's like six thousand dollars. I mean, you know, for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, but she said you grind your teeth. She looked at me, and I said no way. I was married, not now, but I was married before for the longest period of time. I was doing, da, 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 you know, like at night when you're sleeping, if you're doing, ka, 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 ka. Oh, your husband would have like, get out of the bed, you know, just like when I accidentally puked after my first drink of uh, peppermint schnapps. Uh, this guy told me to get out of his uh, brand new upholstery of his uh, Mustang. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let them host you twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, get out of my car. I don't. I don't need a date that bad. Uh, <laughs> with that said, with that said, so she said, look, the edges are all like chiseled. I go, yeah, you're right. It looks like a paper knife cut through it, chiseled. See? Uh, Cause yeah, uh, I'm trying to look into this thing. Uh, and that's a telltale sign that you're chomping on it like this really gripping it 
very, very tight. Either you're gripping it tight or you're doing this, ka 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 which are going to destroy your upper, uh, you know, your, because your mandible, this is a mandible, right? Maxilla! Uh, at least I learned a couple words. Thank you to my friend Paul Warren, who is really a medical expert. Anyway, so this lower jaw is stronger. Uh, the Lord made us that way. Your jaw is really strong, lower jaw. Um, but the the bone is thinner on the top jaw because the Lord made it that way. It, I think it's maxilla. Uh, so it's harder to have the bone uh, to hold on to the uh, so-called implants, the, the roots as well, because it's thinner. It's made that way. And this way that you can accommodate this this hole. There's a hole in there. The sinus, you see what I'm saying? Because sinus has to, what? Expand. Ah! Ah, what a beautiful design. I bet you did not know that. Or even if you knew it, you wouldn't have credited. The, there's a maker actually designed all this. You did not design it yourself. I surely didn't. So, I, okay. I admit it. I really... Uh, was in denial that I grind my teeth. What am I gonna do? So this is it. I know I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> By this time, maybe you already like, you know, oh, go somewhere, oh, do something else and scratch your ass or, uh, you know, go tune into the next game. But when the bitch is us. Anyway, so uh, the lady I just went to, Dr. Rue is a, a hygienist. Um, so sweet. Caitlin. Uh, she was the only one actually after all these years that who had shown me what i was doing wrong is flossing the correct way to floss i'm not going to get into it right now uh because i was just i was pretty much like you know mutilating the flesh like bah, bah, trying to think that's good no that's not good your your gum is just tender you need to give it tlc so this cork is what it is for she said like this because you're clenching down without knowing it. These, if you did not know, your jaws are really strong. So, you need to stretch and then out. Oh, I just cut myself. Uh, there's a big muscle there, uh, in there, okay? So, put your hand in there. I just like, oh yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> uh, yeah, dip a little bit of butter or it tastes better. Uh, raw butter is actually really good for you. Um, and this, use a cork, I have uh, this naturally. The Lord gave me a very small mouth, so that's my excuse. Seriously, because every time I have to go take a mold, in the past I don't do that, I don't want to do that, because it's too painful. Uh, really, they have struggled, they can't put a regular mold, they have to use a children's uh, mold, because they can't wiggle it in there. You know how you take a mold, you go like, wiggle this uh, ugly, huge tray of plastic with mud or uh, Lego mud or whatever that is and it goes ah like that I, I can never deal with it so that's why I said my mouth is naturally this way small but she said you need to stretch it I go well, I don't want to stretch it because it, then that makes me look like uh, you know Sophia Loren I don't I don't need that sexy look oh all right. uh-huh You're glad now, shut up for 15 seconds. So this is a secret. If you have like a one, this is a, a from cheap bottle. I got a Trader Joe's. I had to say that, you know, two ninety nine. Hey, you can get drunk at <laughs> Trader Joe's. Uh, I need to drink a little wine actually before I sleep because if my nerve is all shot, oh, the deep state. Oh, they try to burn us up. And uh, what's next, right? The Las Vegas shooting and the Texas killing Christians and my church prayer chapel got burned from the inside. Outside looks good. It's microwave energy, you see. So all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, this lady told me today, Psalm 91. So it doesn't matter. Whatever, everything, 10,000 forward your right, 1,000 forward your left. But the Lord will hold you up. So I will not be afraid of the terror by night. That's important because otherwise I clench, scared. I didn't even know. I have anxiety. Could not get out of bed. So I'm going to try that. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? Stretch 15 second increments. That's what uh, uh, Caitlin told me. This is from Dr. Roy. So, uh, 
the, the reason why I'm telling you this because otherwise I just forget about it if I tell you I'm gonna do it I have to do it and I I feel like it's good that when you make announcement there's I, I didn't know that you used to think oh you just pray inwardly but this is why God give people us we're the children of God made in his image the ability to talk to communicate I mean yeah if you're a dog you're wah, 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 sure hungry whatever meow 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 me uh, they have their word of communication, but we are the only creature that actually that God has given us the, the authority, the power. So when we speak, there's power. That's why confession, you don't confess quietly. That's why you say, thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. That's why the Lord give you these arms. And when you praise him, uh, the principalities actually flee. Uh, that's the reason why we do all these things. And I learned that. The, you know, you're not crazy like this in church, like, oh, I'm just going to dance a little bit or whatever. But David danced vehemently so much in the Lord that in public, he danced with the, just the diaper, you know. Can you imagine that? Uh, even his wife at that time, Saul's daughter, um, the, the word says that she despised David. Say, you're dancing naked? Like a diaper, like a, you know, like a crazy man in front of your whole country? I mean, imagine if, if Donald Trump did that. I mean, I can't say, Father Obama, he'll probably, you know, dance to the tune of some kind of uh, uh, iman or, I don't know their music, but whatever. But I think, I believe he's Muslim and definitely, because he, he keeps saying Christians are crusaders. When they say that, they don't say it in a nice way. Uh, they're saying that, oh, it's okay. See, the thing for these people to justify doing brutality bad things to us is to uh to justify in their minds they demonize us oh crusaders when you put a label like what does that mean oh it means that so we can kill you <laughs> that's what it means that uh it's definitely not from god um so when you do this uh, anyways going back to just to know what the word says and meditate i have to really think what the Lord is my shepherd. What is what is that about? The Lord is my shepherd. That means I'm a sheep. So he's holding me in his hand. Uh, I love that stained glass. Uh, we were back in the church on the way, they used to have that huge stained glass of, of Jesus in a robe. And the man, the sheep, and one in his hand. Oh, I'm not sheep. I'm just so that sheep. You see what I'm saying? Because... Uh, otherwise, we're slaughtered like sheep if we don't have shepherd. The shepherd protects us. Um, the bad guys so try to get us. Anyways, so this is what I'm uh, trying to really get to is to um, relax the jaws and and do this. You start to what I'm doing. Is there's the muscle in there. You want to loosen those muscles. So you do this now. Uh, wash your hands, but. You know, your saliva is actually good, and I feel sorry some people take taking so much pharmaceutical drugs that they do not even produce saliva anymore. That's because you're taking too much pharmaceutical, and that's the, another story. Uh, the money that they're making, everybody's taking like, you know, 10 different kind of things. So, oh, I got one thing for the heart, for the blood pressure, for the diabetes, and, and all that stuff is actually masking the symptom and uh, suppress your own immunity your own ability to heal it really does it's a big scam uh dr centino talks about it about the steroid so-called anti-inflammatory it sounds good oh yeah yo, your body is inflamed of course you have little fires it's telling your body that go heal that sucker you know i got a little cut it's inflamed it's red but my body, I don't need to take anti-inflammatory because my body gets a signal, all right, and sends out what? Sends out the uh, healing cells. If it doesn't get the signal, uh, then, you know, your immune function is suppressed. It's just like everything else. You don't use it, what? You lose it. So that's the, uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> Sherilyn, cork exercise of the day. Huh? <laughs> I just said 15 seconds per set. Try to do three sets, and this way uh, it will help you sleep. Uh, for whatever it's worth, let me know if it works. But I'm gonna try it myself. Okay, bye.